special thanks to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you nine ways that you can speed up your video editing inside Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. So one of the most common tasks us video editors do is copy attributes from one clip to another. Let's say if I have this graphic and I want to adjust the size of it, let's say if I wanna make it a little bit bigger, I just scaled it up inside my effects controls. I wanna copy this attribute and paste it to all the other instances where this graphic is in my timeline. You can easily do that by clicking on your graphic, going up to edit, copy, and then click on your other graphic and go to edit, paste attributes. And to get quicker at doing this, you can use the keyboard shortcut. For example, my keyboard shortcut for this is Shift V. Yours might be different, but using keyboard shortcuts of Command C, Command V is very helpful. Now, when you click on paste attributes, just make sure that the correct property is check marked. So in this case, it's motion. If there's other effects that you want to apply, you can check that, but that's how you can paste attributes. Now, not only do I want to paste the attribute to this graphic, but I want to paste the attribute to all these graphics on this layer. And you can easily do that using the track select forward tool inside Premiere Pro. To access it, click on this tool in the tools panel. And just to show you how this works, when you click once on your timeline, it selects everything in front of your cursor. So everything in the front of the cursor is being selected. If you wanted to change it and select everything behind your cursor, you can click shift A to reverse it. And this will display two backwards arrows and you can select everything behind your cursor. But what we want is to actually select everything in front of our cursor. So I'm just going to click A on my keyboard. So I'm just going to change it back to the track select forward tool. And what we have to do is hold down shift. And you'll notice when we hold down shift, our cursor changes from two arrows to one arrow. And this allows us to select just the clips on one individual track. So this is very helpful. For example, if I wanted to select all these graphics, I can select all of them, hit shift V to paste attributes, select motion and click OK. And you'll notice all these clips on our timeline now have the updated motion property with that adjustment. So it's an easy way to speed up your editing using paste attributes and to use the track select forward tool. Now, another way you can speed up your editing is by using plugins and effects. And for this, I like to use Artlist. Art Artlist is an all-in-one platform for content creation, providing the best music, sound effects, footage, templates, plugins, and software for content creators. Now, I use a lot of their plugins inside Premiere Pro to make editing a lot quicker and to apply a lot of unique effects to my footage to give it a really creative look. For example, one of the effects I love to use from Artlist is called the Gleam Effect. For example, I have this motion graphic of my podcast logo, and if we take a look, it's okay. But if we use the gleam effect, we can really add a lot more energy to the shot. So for example, we can go to our effects panel and underneath video effects, we can go down to artless light and flares. So if we twirl down, we can go to gleam. We can click and drag this to our clip here. You can see it adds a nice gleam effect. Now you have a lot of controls and side effects controls to modify the effect. And what I like to do is to keyframe the gleam effect over time. So I'm gonna make a keyframe for intensity and then go back a few frames. You can hit shift left arrow to go back five frames. So I'm going to do this a few times and then I'm going to change the value to zero. Then I'm going to go to my next keyframe and then go to the right 15 frames and then change it back down to zero. And when we click and play this back, you can see the effect that we've created. So that's a really cool effect. Now, another way you can speed up your video editing in Premiere Pro is by using adjustment layers, especially when you work in video projects where you want to add an effect to several clips Adjustment layers can really help speed up that workflow. So to create an adjustment layer inside Premiere Pro, go to the new item icon at the bottom right and go to adjustment layer. Make sure your sequence settings match up and click OK. Then you can click and drag this out over your project. So I'm just going to click and drag it out over my entire project here. And another effect that we can add from Artlist is called Cine Style. So if we click and drag this out, this is an easy way to add a letterbox and a cinematic look to your entire timeline. You have different presets you can choose from. I'm going to choose light for now. That just adds a light cinematic look and a letterbox. And as you can see, since we used an adjustment layer, it automatically applies the effect to all these different cuts and clips underneath it. You don't have to apply this effect to each individual clip, and that's the benefit to using adjustment layers. Now you can add effects to adjustment layers, but let's say if you wanted to add an effect to a video clip, but you want it to be in every instance of that video clip, you can add the effect to the source tab inside effects controls. And this is something that not a lot of video editors know about. So let's say if I wanted to add this effect from 
Artlist called Exposure Pro to this video clip, but I wanted to apply to this clip and this clip over here. You can see they're two separate clips in my timeline. What I can do is inside Effects Controls, go to the Source tab. You should see it at the top left. You can click and drag the effect to that tab, and this will add that effect to the Source tab rather than the clip-based effect level. So if we go back to Source, we can choose from a preset. So I'm gonna choose Warm Exposure. And as you can see, it adds it to our clip, but it also adds it to this clip over here. Here. So let's say if I wanted to change this effect from warm exposure to maybe cold exposure, you can see it updates not only for this clip on my timeline, but this clip as well. So no matter how many cuts you have on your timeline, if you change that effect from the source panel, it'll update to all the other cuts and clips in your timeline. Another way you can speed up your editing inside Premiere Pro is by using helpful extensions. And it just so happens that Artlist has an Artlist library extension, which makes downloading stock music, sound effects, and generating voice over is very easy. So if we take a look here, this is a panel directly inside Premiere Pro, and I use this specifically when it comes to music. So let's say if I wanted to add a music track to this intro of my podcast, I can dial in the different filters. So let's say if I wanted it to be exciting in the genre, I have it set to electronic. And then under filters, I want to make sure that there's no vocals, so I'm gonna choose instrumental. I can start browsing directly inside this panel and also sync it with my Premiere Pro project. You'll notice that we have have this timeline sync button at the bottom. If we enable it, you can see that the music will play with our video in our timeline. So we can easily preview the song with our video, including Global Pet Foods, Discover, and Nestle to name a few. In our conversation, we talk about her early career at CBS Radio. I like this one. And the other cool thing is that you can preview the video with stems as well. So let's say if we click on the stems button, we can click play. Artist, she has worked with notable brands including Global Pet Foods, Discover, and Nestle to name a few. So this makes it very easy to filter down your song selection and to preview it with your actual video footage directly inside Premiere Pro. Now, another way that you can speed up your video editing inside Premiere Pro is by using AI tools. And Artlist came out with an AI assistant, which is really cool. If we go up to Window Extensions AI Assistant, you can see that they have silence removal and that they have auto zoom. The auto zoom feature is really cool. If we go over to the advanced tab, we can have Artlist analyze our audio for us. Once it's done, you can see that it selects different audio segments that would be ideal to zoom in on. You can click show all and select which areas and which pieces of audio that you want to zoom in on. So I'm going to leave them all selected and click next. Then you have different zoom levels that you can choose from. So you can just have a standard punch in kind of like a cut or you can choose to do it like a fast zoom in, zoom out. You have also a fast bounce zoom, which is really cool as well. For now, I'm just going to select the first one and then click start auto zoom. Once it's done, it'll say that you've added the eight zoom effects to your video. I'm going to click got it. And if we take a look at our timeline, you can see that it added different adjustment layers on top of all of our footage here. So if we go and navigate to one, if we click play, this is kind of what we have. It's direct with a client. It's a lot easier to get rates that are more appropriate. If you need to make adjustments, you can easily click and trim the adjustment layer accordingly. So if you wanted it longer or shorter or move it around, if we go into effects controls. You can kind of see what the AI does. It adds the transform effect automatically and punches into 125%. So that's Artless. If you do want to check them out, I will leave them linked down in the video description. If you do choose to go with them, you can get two extra months with a purchase of an annual plan. So be sure to check them out. Thank you Artlist for sponsoring today's video. Now let's take a look at the next tip. Now another thing we commonly do as video editors is move clips around. Let's say if I wanted all like this answer essentially like over here, I would have to move all these clips around. Like I would have to like, you know, select everything, move them over, move these clips over, and it's a pain. Where I'm gonna show you a pretty easy way that you can easily move this set of clips over here automatically. So there's a keyboard shortcut and it's command on a Mac. And it's control on a PC where you can hold down command, click and drag your selected clips. And when you click and drag them to the left, once they're aligned with the arrows over there, you can release. And this basically moves that chunk before all the other clips. And it automatically moves these clips to the right of that clip. So that's an easy way to move a bunch of clips around easily. Now, another thing that can save you a lot of time is by using the audio track mixer. And this is one of the underrated features directly inside Premiere Pro, especially when it comes to audio. So I have my podcast here. Let's 
let's say if I wanted to add more clarity to both of my guest's voice and my voice as well. Normally how you would do it is search for an effect inside the effects panel, maybe parametric equalizer, and then you would click and drag it to this clip here. But the problem is it's only applied to this clip. And then once again, similar to how I talked about the source tab, you'd have to copy this effect to all the other clips in your timeline. Using the audio track mixer, you can save a lot of time as it applies the same effect to all the clips in the track. So to get to the audio track mixer, you can go up to window audio track mixer and then select the name of your sequence. So in this case, there's only one sequence in my project. And as you can see, this is the audio track mixer. To add an effect to a track, you can click the drop down. And the first column here is track one. Track two is right next to it. So if I select the drop down and track one here on this first drop down menu, I can select an effect that I'm looking for. So I'll go into filter EQ and go to parametric equalizer. If we double click on this effect, we have our controls. We can add maybe a preset. So maybe I want to add a vocal enhancer. This will automatically add that effect to the track. And like I said, it applies it to not only this clip, but this clip and this clip and it applies it to all the clips on the audio track. Now parametric equalizer is just one of the several audio effects I use as a video editor. If you want to see some of the other effects I use on the daily as a video editor, I will leave a video where I go over some of my favorite audio effects. I will leave that video right up there. Feel free to go check that out. But that does it for this video. I hope you learned something new and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.